So in the past video, you saw me last up the Air Jordan 3s, they're looking pretty nice. But these eyelets just came in and I'm gonna try them out and throw them on the front laces. I didn't last the other shoe because I knew these eyelets were coming in. So I'm gonna throw them on in the front and see how accurate we could get. So I don't know how to do this, this is gonna be my first time, but I'm guessing all that you got is this little plate. You got this pole, you put the rivet on or the eyelet on the inside. You hammer it down like that, and it should be all good to go for the leather. So what I'm thinking about is either doing black or red little rivets on the front of the shoe. I'm not too sure yet, so I'm just gonna pick it out and get it all ready for the shoe. So I got my hole puncher, but I have no idea what size hole I gotta punch in order for these rivets to fit. And right now I have it on the biggest one, so I'm just gonna go one level down. I'm gonna adjust it right there and then see if that one will work. Got this scrap piece of leather right here. Eyelet through there, and then it definitely is not big enough, so we're gonna have to go one size bigger. So I'm just gonna adjust it right now, and I'm pretty much gonna go for it. So we got five holes on the front. Here's the first try. Okie dokie, let's try this out. I'm just gonna do two hits. Okay, none of the paint got scratched off. Boom, there we go. So, gonna hit that five more times or four more times and see what they turn out like. So this is very interesting. The eyelet pretty much fell out. I think what's happening is it's too thick, so we got a thick piece of leather as well as a liner on the inside. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna actually try to skive it down and see what happens. Maybe I could thin that leather so even though the liner will get pretty much disappeared, I'm gonna skive that down and see if that helps and then maybe the eyelet will attach through like the front and the back and then it'll stay on. Let's try this again and see what happens after it being skived down a little bit. Well, it worked, as you can see. And then on the back side, it's kind of flattened. Looks a little weird. I don't know if the camera could get that angle, but it is a little flattened right there. So the first side is done. Now the second side is all ready to get, I guess you could call it eyelided. You got the skived part on the bot on the back as you can see, and also the little thing popped out. So I'm not too sure what to do with that. Might have to skive that down a little bit just because it popped out because of the thickness of the leather. That's gonna stink because hopefully these things last for a while. I don't want to just be walking down the street and they pop out because that's that's horrible. So but we're learning. We're trying new things out. As you can see, that white piece, that's actually the back of this leather. So definitely skive down to the very bottom, or that might even be the gator. That actually might be the crocodile. So I'm gonna keep on skiving, punch all those in there, and then we'll see how it all finishes and works out. Boom, the first one on the other side. Looks like that's locked in tight. Now I'm gonna do the one that I missed earlier. Not that I missed earlier, the one that fell out earlier, so. Gonna throw that back on. Let's see if this thing hopefully stays in place. I think it's bent, but I'm not too sure how these work out. So we're just gonna wing it right now, see what happens. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And become a member today in order to get entered into winning a free Air Jordan 1 pattern. As you can see, 
we got ourselves the eyelets up in the front and then on the inside. So I mean, from far away, it's looking pretty cool. Now, looking back, I'd probably try to get some better quality ones, but this is my first time doing it, so I'm not too sure on the differences in them. Also, you saw I had to skive it down, but that's not too bad of a problem because the leather is still there. It's still in one piece, so it's gonna be all good. But for right now, this is what we're looking at. Maybe I could go a different color later on. When I make other shoes, I can now incorporate this into other shoes as well. So like, like Converse, I think they got the little holes on the bottom. So those could be some shoes that we can incorporate that or just, you know, customizing some other shoes that we got. But this is what it looks like. Another look, so that's a red. As you can see, it's like pushed and dented in. Not too sure if I like that or not, but we're gonna go with it just because for the first time, I think they came out great for the first time, me trying it out. These are them, boom. So the other shoe that I lasted, I'll have to do this, kind of hang it off the table and do it once it's the last is all out. But that's pretty much it, Red Eyelets and the Air Jordan 3s. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my other videos. Become a member, it really helps out the channel. Check out all the merch. Check out my shoemaking course, 100% online down. Links in the description. I got all my links down there. I got all my tools that I use. So if you have any questions about that, Check it out, links down in the description. Also, if you saw my live stream, I did win the cool gray Jordan 3, so I might be tearing those apart to throw on these. I think that'll be funny, but who knows. But let me know what you think about these. Let me know if you'd use these, if you think the eyelets look cool, if I should have went with a different color, or if you prefer the red. Let me know though, just remember, we got the red back here as well as the red liner, so it might go well with it once we all pull it together. But thanks for watching, and have a great day.